Welcome to Master Cook Zambia, your premier cooking competition. Previously on Master Cook Zambia. Welcome to Master Cook Zambia, your premier cooking competition. Previously on Master Cook Zambia. Right, master cook chefs, this is the Matabeto challenge. So, you will be asked to pick three dishes. And let me say something about what you are going to cook. What you are cooking is part of the Matabeto or Ichiranga Mulilo. And therefore, every dish is extremely important in the way you cook it and present it. Because each food has a specific lesson for the bridegroom this food will be taken to. So, in order to pick the dishes, these important dishes that you're going to cook, you will pick a number from these cups, these cups, and those cups. These are numbers that will indicate the dish that you cook. And all the dishes in the Matebeto are in these cups, represented in these cups. When you pick the three numbers, you will then go into the pantry and pick the ingredients that you need to cook the particular dish that you've picked. Each particular dish is provided with all the ingredients in one pot. So pick the pot of whatever it is that you've picked and then go to your workstation. You will also be provided with two chickens because chicken is an important part of the bridegroom's feast, the Ichilanga Mulilo. So two chickens for each of you. You will also have other meats that you will pick but the chickens are for everyone and the instructions on how to cook those chickens will be given to you. Nature's Gift, a quality product from Californian beverages. When you think water, think Aquamax. Aquamax, healthy drinking water, a product from Californian beverages. How do I feel today? Nervous. Um, the Matereto challenge, I'm not good at Zambian food as much as people are laughing at me that I don't know how to cook Zambian food. Well, rough. I did my practice, I did my research, everything, so I think I'm confident enough. Uh, well, today cooking, 
carpenta, fresh, dry fish, and uh, okra. I think I'm going to bag this, yeah. Possibly, yeah, it's mine. I'm making it to the next round. I'm super excited. Um, you know, like uh, with my restaurant, I do multi cuisine. So I have both Zambian in, uh, um, traditional and international. And uh, surprisingly, the vegetable dish that I picked is one of my favorites to cook at the restaurant. So I'm like super excited. So I'm going to do chimpapila uh, for vegetables and then also brown fresh mushrooms and then liver. Oh, that is a walkover. So everything is well in my comfort zone. Well, I prepared for this basically just by asking the maid at home how to cook a number of random dishes and uh, she cooked some of them at home for us. So I just got a little bit of advice from her how to do certain things, carpenta, fisashi, uh, and the more common or the more popular uh, dishes. Some of the things I found here I'm not too familiar with, so that's a bit of a challenge, but hey, we'll roll with it. Um, I picked uh, ntoyo, uh, mixed cut, and dry roasted groundnuts. So I really don't have too much uh, work to do. Uh, just that it's a lot of things to cook in a short period of time because we also have two chickens as well. So that's four items in total. Uh, and uh, well, I'm very comfortable with what I've picked. Boiled uh, ntoyo, dry roasted groundnuts and mixed cut. Pretty straightforward. So I don't have much of a challenge. I did prepare quite well. I think uh, being Bemba myself and this whole event being a Bemba thing, I think I'm quite ready for it. Second question, I'll start with. I'm very confident. I'm doing a whole uh, circling pig, then I'm doing a katapa and impua. Oh, well, it, it's going to be a tough challenge for me, and given the fact that uh, I haven't really cooked Zambian traditional food. But what I've picked today is was I picked the mushrooms and the chicken and brim, of which I think it's quite easy, and I can manage to do it. Even though I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I'll still, I'll still pull through. Well, I did some couple of research and hopefully it's going to work. And I've been very close to the internet lately, just researching about Zambian dishes and everything. But hopefully it will work. Uh, yes, I've, I've been prepared well quite enough. I've been doing some practices before I came uh, because at least it was known that we're doing the Mateveto, which is traditional. I think for the traditional, it has nothing difficult with me. Uh, this is what I've been doing. I've been cooking traditional dishes <coughs> for the client when they come in. So to me, it hasn't been something that like uh, I like something that is strange or something that is coming out of the world. Uh, as I when I came here, uh, of course, it's not what much of what I expected that I would pick, but uh, what I've picked like the vimbombo, uh, the lumanda, and the tindingoma. I think uh, for the tindingoma, uh, it's up for challenge. It's something that I haven't cooked before, uh, but I'm ready for it. Um, my name is Prudence. I'm still a participant in this master cook competition. Um, before I came, we were of course told that it's going to be a Zambian meal. So of course I prepared, I dedicated the whole week doing this and that, the Zambian dishes. And um, I guess I'm ready for it. I've picked uh, chicken. I've picked uh, dry chihuahua. I've also picked rape. Um, I should say I'm comfortable with what I've picked because uh, I always cook that at home. So it's not new to me. I'm very happy about it. OK, well, I'm now with uh, Deva Livingston Supper Lodge. When I was in Livingston, I used to go to the market and ship out buy some Zambian traditional food there. We used to participate and cook some of the food there. And uh, we've cooked quite a number of food there, traditional Zambian, like uh, impua, mpani worms, chihuahua, all those kind of things. Then today I've picked on also delele okla, <laughs> yeah. And some dry fish and some offers. That's the one I'm going to cook today, but it's interesting, although my offers 
you know, they take time to be cooked still. They're still frozen, but I'll take care of that. Then, first of all, I'm doing for today. Quality product from Californian beverages. When you think water, think Aquamax. Aquamax, healthy drinking water. A product from Californian beverages. Today I've picked a dry carpenter siavonga, which I feel confident I can cook. Um, there's a dry okra that they call zumba, which I have never cooked before. Today will be my first time. Not so confident about that. And uh, there's oxtail, which I'm really confident with. When it comes to being ready for the challenge, yes, I am ready in the sense that I have prepared. I've taken like a week or almost two weeks, you know, to try and get to know all the traditional dishes and, you know, the way that they should be cooked and how they should be presented. So confident, yes, I'm quite confident. Wow, the first time when I just checked on Facebook, and that was about two weeks ago, I noticed that um, the master cook talked about we were, we were going to prepare um, matebeto, which is a traditional Zambian cuisine. So I thought like, ah, oh, mm, how come this? this? I've never done it. I've always been doing uh, Chinese, Western and uh, French American dishes. But I said, anyway, since I've never done it, but it's going to be a challenge for me to, to take it up. Then uh, as I arrived in Lusaka on, on um, Friday, uh, the challenges that I had was in terms of traveling, but I arrived safely. Then uh, today I was given a challenge to go and pick what I'm supposed to prepare. I've picked uh, goat meat and um, carpenter, which is in Polungu from uh, dry carpenter from Mpolungu. Polungu is a district in the northern part of Zambia, and uh, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds. On the goat meat, I'm looking at uh, thyme. Maybe it, when cooking it, it's going to be a bit hard, but I'm looking forward to manage it. On the pumpkin seeds, it's, uh, it's very interesting that uh, with uh, the rise of uh, prostate cancer, cancer in Maine, so it's an advantage to learn more about cooking the pumpkin seeds because uh, it's uh, very, very important in, uh, in Maine. Well, 
Well, getting told about this next challenge has been exciting. Uh, done a lot of research back in Livingston, going to the local markets, picking some stuff up. So we're going to bring it all on and uh, show that we're good and we can do the, uh, the traditional cooking. Uh, it's very nice, nice, uh, different type of stuff, better, uh, more than uh, international cuisine that I'm used to, uh, but I've learnt a lot. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to impress the judges of what I've learnt from my team back in Livingston um, and everything else. <laughs> Today for Master Cook we have a matebeto. So this is a traditional um, function normally held by the members which has been adopted by many tribes in Zambia. For matebeto we are expecting to see traditional dishes and um, I expect to see um, the dishes presented in a cooked and presented in a traditional way. I expect to see dishes um, such as fish, dry fish. I expect to see game meat. I expect to see the various vegetables that we have uh, in Zambia. I'm expecting to see beans. I'm expecting to see chikanda, which is popularly known as African poloni. You know, and uh, I expect that these will be well cooked dishes. They will be well presented, and I actually expect them to be presented in a traditional way. Uh, no, it's going very well at the moment. Um, everything seems to be going on plan. Uh, just the, the heat at the moment, the, the sun, um, and that. But uh, but no, all good. We're uh, we're out there. We're going to do it. <laughs> So far so good, uh, challenges, ish, like I said, I'm a bit of a coconut when it comes to Zambian food, so yeah, trying to work my way around it, but I think I'm getting there, I know it's tomato and onion, salt, I'm craving to put in some spice, but I've been banned not to. So yeah, that's the challenge I have. <laughs> but so far, so good. Uh, dry fish, capenta, uh, okra, dry leaves, uh, chicken. a good knife worthy. Challenges not as yet. Um, my only challenge would be to finish in time you know because uh, we're being timed and it's going great. I'm, I've cleaned some of the chicken that I'm cooking. I'm cooking two chickens of course you know like everybody else. Uh, one whole traditionally and the other one I have to stew it and then I'm cooking my liver, beef liver which I'm trying to trim and then I also have to cook chimpapila so I have the water boiling and then I have the groundnuts going over there and some mushroom which will be a walkover. <laughs> uh, the mushroom I'm thinking I'm thinking to just uh, cook it with cooking oil and tomatoes and onions, you know, simple. But the chimpapila, my dearest, I have to cook that in granites and I'll add some soda so it's got that nice, slimy, smooth texture. Big challenge. The pig seems to be slightly bigger than uh, the oven that I'm using here. And uh, I don't have all that I needed. I needed some strings to tie up the legs, which I can't find. But under the circumstances, I'm doing the best that I think I can. Uh, and uh, especially that this thing takes quite a long time to cook, so I just have to see how I get it going as quickly as I can. People will eat, but it will not be as good as it would have been or the way I would have wanted it to come out because I'm, I'm really struggling to get this whole thing sorted and uh, when I leave, uh, I leave it open I'm losing so much heat and this thing can't close so I, and I can't keep standing here checking it all the time I've got other things that I need to cook as well 
so quite a big problem but uh, slowly but surely I'm sure I'll, I'll get there uh, challenges just absolutely nothing actually everything's going smooth I'm doing oxtail in a tomato and onion gravy because basically traditional food there's no spices so it's just onion, tomato, gravy, oxtail. Uh, this is the Avonga Capenta. So I've roasted it a little bit and then I've washed it. And then uh, I'm gonna fry it in onion and tomato. And if I want to get a little bit fancy, I might do half of it in groundnuts as well. And what else? There's dry, there's dry okra, they call it Zumba. Never heard of it before. So that one might be a bit of a challenge, but I'm sure. I'll handle it. For the Zumba, I'm just going to wash it in water. You boil it with a little bit of uh, bicarbonate of soda and salt. And you fry it down with onions and tomatoes. I might put um, a little bit of uh, nuts in it. I'll see how I feel. But otherwise, it's going smooth. Uh, so far so good, like I said before, I love the, the dish I've been given and um, as you can see, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, not really, but uh, I think we need more baulas and more pots, otherwise that's the only challenge we have. Yeah, I, want, I wanted to boil a bit and then I, I strained the water, then I boiled the, 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 the groundnuts. When they are done, that's when I put that together with the soda and the tomatoes and the onions. I'm also doing the chickens, which is uh, on the, it's boiling on the fire there. I've got the rep as well, which I'm going to sashila. We've had enough of the cooking oil rep, so I'm going to do it something different. Healthy drinking water, the quality product from Californian beverages. It's in the juice. Just juice. Real juice.
Yeah, everything is just okay. I'm doing some very chicken day in a traditional way. Then also I'm, I'm cooking some fish as well. It will be fish stew, Zambian style. Then I'm doing as well some beans. This is uh, like sugar beans, Zambian sugar beans. That's what I'm doing as well. Then I'll be doing some okra as well. Just take some tomatoes, and all these kind of things there. Yeah. Yeah. Challenges. Tomato and onion and oil. Fighting for tomato and onion like children. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. They keep buying plastic bags of onion, plastic bags of tomatoes instead of a box of tomatoes and pockets of onions. Three times and it's ready. It's finished again. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But having a good time despite not enough pots, not enough knives, not enough anything. But we're making do. So let me not complain too much. I think I'll be done ahead of time. And uh, yeah, stuff is smelling good. Fuck, let me just add a little bit more spice. Which makes me wonder, did we have spices in the village? Hmm? 100, 200 years ago. How did they cook their meats at Matebetos in Kasama in 1775? No idea. But that's how we cook it now, so that's how I'll cook it here. This is mixed cut. Probably the worst piece of meat you can get because it's got bits of meat from all over the all over the cow. Different textures. Some are tough, some are soft, so really it's a potluck what you get out. Uh, there's ntoyo here, just boiling them, they're almost done. I don't want them to turn into porridge or mash. I have the uh, sex chicken here and uh, dry roasted groundnuts. That's my menu. So I think I'm going to move to the big daddy, big daddy stove over there for some more heat just to uh, finish this off and uh, I'm good. Can you see what you're doing here? That's okay. And what you are? I have turned the whole chicken. Uh -huh. I have the stock here for the chicken. Okay. Which I will use with the chicken. It will go out the sauce. It will, it, it will be served as the whole chicken, but it's going to go out the sauce. Okay, but you serve like your whole chicken? The whole chicken. Okay, yeah. I'm admiring the new Mbaula style. <laughs> Very good. Let me see here. What are you cooking here? Uh, this is rib. With peanuts, um, it's not yet ready, but I, I still have to put tomatoes and onions and some salt. Okay. And this is uh, pumpkin chihuahua. Chihuahua. I've already put everything. I'm just waiting for, for it to get a bit softer, then I'll add onions. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks very nice. I like adding onions at the last minute because uh, I want the aroma to come out. Okay. Okay, it looks very good. And here, I'm just, in this uh, big pot, pre cooking, pre boiling the goat meat. Then mm -hmm. uh, I'll start frying. Then boozy. Then boozy. Also got uh, fresh capin and uh, pumpkin seeds. Okay. Yes. Good. Let me pass this side. Just came to see what you're doing here. Cutting onions. <laughs> and crying a lot. And there. Uh, what are I'm, those leaves? I'm, I'm making those are beans leaves. Uh, yes. Uh, we call them chim papilla. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to cook them um, in. Oh, I'm also stuck because of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with peanuts. With peanuts. With peanuts. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm I'm doing the prep for all my tomatoes and the onions. And I'm this is to, capenta. Uh, that's wedges. Ah. Yes. Can I just have a look? Fresh capenta. Okay. Yes. Very good. I like it. Thank okay. You. Let me pass through here and see. Okay. I'm cooking dry fish. Um, some funky vegetable, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to say funky vegetable, you should. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I think it's some dry okra leaves. Okay. Um, here, my chicken is done. Okay. Um, I've got carpenter, fresh, 
yes. which I need to fry, and a whole chicken which I need to finish off. The chicken there, yeah. okay. Yeah. So no extra touch to the traditional, it's I very wish, traditional. I wish I could do it. I've been okay. told I can't. Okay, so it's <laughs> everything very traditional. Yeah. Let me pass and see what these people are doing. Let me okay. see what you're doing so here. here. Just give me some water, please. These are roasted pumpkins. Okay. They are nice for me. And they reduce the the roasted cancer. If you start eating them at childhood, then the risk of getting a broadcast prostate cancer is less. Really? Yes, please. We do eat it in Italy as children with lots of salt. Yes, we put uh, salt. Yes, you have to stir, mix the salt with uh, water, make a solution. And you just eat it like that, or you mix uh, it with something? Uh, no, just like this. It's a, okay. like a snack. Ah, we do okay. With, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. I think I like it. And what is in here? In here, it's the, I'm making a stock uh, sauce for the goat meat. I've started frying it. Then I, the stock, I'll mix. And then you mix it everything nice together. Gravy. Yes, please. So I just okay. Frying the goat meat. It looks very good. And this belongs to who? <laughs> this baby here. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Just roast the... Uh, just roasting it. Uh, just salt. Nothing else. And then it goes for hours, I guess. Yes, it does. But normally it would take five, six hours. Yes. But uh, looking at... Uh, Our time. I don't think uh, uh, we would be able to manage. But for the other stuff, because I'm... Doing so what are you doing? going to do with this? We need to taste it. Yes. <laughs> it looks good. What I'm <laughs> going to do now is just try to... Cut it? Cook it from outside. Once it gets cooked from outside, then okay. cut it up. And then when it's cut, it, you grill it? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's where I think it will be... Nice. To finish it up? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me pass this side now. What are you cooking this side? Okay, this side we've got some uh, some kidneys. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, we've got in this side here some little dried blackfish. Not quite sure of the name, yes. but uh, we'll find out. <laughs> um, and then we've got some uh, 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 pumpkin leaves. Yes. Okay. Which I'm going to sort out in a minute. Got my tomatoes and onions. Yes. And that's all sorted. Okay. All right. This side? Okay. This big okay. pot? Okay. Well, here I'm just boiling the Boiling chicken. chicken? When they cook, I'm going to remove them and then I'll seal them in the pan just to get the brown color. Okay. Right up here, it's a fresh brim. It's cooked Zambian traditional with some tomatoes and some onions. So I'm going to let that reduce down a bit. Yeah. And up here I have sweet potato leaves. Mm -hmm. the I love the, those. In the bottom <laughs> there's uh, yes. tomato and onion. Uh -huh. and that reduces as well and then, yeah, I'm going to serve it like that. Look interesting. Thank you. And what is this? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's cooked the traditional uh. way. It's not fried. It's just they boiled it and then we've made a gravy separately and then just put it in. And then towards the end I'll thicken it. Okay. It looks so good. So far, so good. Good luck. <laughs> it's very interesting for me today because I'm going to taste all the traditional food that I've been seeing in Zambia for 20 years, but some of them I never tasted. Um, I think it's a very good idea to taste all the chef because some of them, they don't even know traditional food. Um, so I'm excited. Yeah, I've just been around, um, see what's going on and it's all coming together. The guys are just getting everything together. And it's nice to see, I mean, most of these guys don't work with these ingredients, with these kind of dishes every day. But uh, they live in this country and uh, we all need to learn how to uh, prepare local dishes. And today we can look forward to some professionally done local cuisine. Nice Zambian dishes on the go. And I really think we're going to have uh, uh, some good, good, good flavors and tastes and natural stuff coming through. I can't wait to, to put my teeth onto it and see. Um, it's all going well, but yeah, unfortunately some of the things take a bit long to cook, uh, so we must, be, we must be a little bit patient. I can see. 